God made the world perfect. He made a beautiful place for us to enjoy. And then bad stuff happened. Sin came along. That's the devil. He put sin in the world. And we started to have stuff that got between us and between us and God. That gets in the way of our relationship with God. God loves us. He wants us to be in a great place. But this stuff, this bad stuff that we do, the naughty things, gets in the way. So God sent his only son Jesus to die on a cross because he wanted to have that relationship with us. He didn't want it spoiled or taken away. So he sent his son Jesus to die on a cross. He rose again three days later. That's the resurrection. That's the story of the gospel. It's amazing. Which leaves us with a question that we all have to answer, whether we go to church, whether we follow Jesus or not. And that question is this. If God's done all this, would you choose him? Because he's already chosen you. He loves you. He's already chosen to love you by sending his son. So the question then stands, do you want to follow Jesus and make him your special friend like I've done, like Joe's done, like we've done as a family? Because with that amazing relationship with Jesus comes peace and hope. And in these dark times of COVID, that hope and that peace is so, so important. And when you have a relationship with Jesus, that hope then comes in, that peace comes in, and it's truly amazing. Heavenly Father, I just thank you that we can come to you at all times of the day and night, when we're struggling, when we're tired, during COVID when we're worried, we can come and pray to you, we can talk to you, you're always there for us. And I just pray, Lord, for whoever's watching this, by the power of your Holy Spirit, that they would have a relationship with you. If they know you a little bit, they'd know you a lot more. If they don't know you at all, they'd get to know you, perhaps for the first time, so that we can each get to know you better and better. Amen.